What's up, everybody? It's Chris from Games Played here, back with another episode of Subnautica. Uh, this is the second episode. We literally just started, kind of just swam around a lot in the first episode, getting uh, trying to figure out, you know, the lay of the land and all that good stuff. Um, we left off where we needed to go and get some quartz. That's right. We need quartz so that we... Oh, it's night. Which way? There was a big tunnel, and I did not have... If it was daytime, I could probably find this so much easier. I just want to make sure we're heading the right way. I don't know what the right way is. There was a giant tunnel with quartz in it. So if we... The only thing we're missing, because we actually got lucky and found some silver, is some uh, quartz for glass. And we can make... The high capacity O2 tank and get a little bit more time underwater. There was a giant like a uh, tube of some sort right here around my base, not not far. There's not like a sprint swim, is there? Okay, I was seeing if your breath like stays the same. Okay, so there's stuff down here. Um, I think we're going to want to come back and look around here. There was something like called like a sea glide fragment somewhere at the beginning we found. And I saw that thing called the sea glide. So it looked like uh, like one of those portable things you hold and it makes you swim fast. We swam over here. I don't know what those are. They look like giant jellyfish. And we're getting close to the ship where that big... I think it might just be a giant jellyfish that... We also got a knife now, guys. It's weird that's right-clicking to do everything. It's kind of a little strange. What's this stuff that's glowing? Okay, we got writhing weed. Okay, always good with bladder fish. Um, what's next? What's next? We need to find that giant pipe. Is it over this way? Oh, if it would just be daytime, we could find this thing in like seconds probably. It was so big, guys. Like, shouldn't be any problem to find it. Okay, we can't apparently pick up the grav trap fragment. Whoa, that's crazy looking, guys. <laughs> oh, there's two moons here, it looks like. Or is that a planet? I don't know. I just am swimming in the ocean. I went through like a tunnel popped out near a giant pipe and it was really close to my base is all I remember. This is really creepy guys like at night like during the daytime swimming it's kind of like oh I'm just swimming in a tropical reef like just scuba diving with the buds. I've never actually been scuba diving but that's what it seems like oh and we're getting a little bit of sunlight can I maybe find what I was looking for maybe I can find what I'm looking for a little easier now I probably passed by it or something stupid that's okay though was it that pipe I don't think it was this one it was like humongous the pipe I found I mean, like, huge, huge. Like, five times bigger than that. Still, if there were some quartz in these, I would be fine with that, too. I probably swam by quartz and somebody's like, Hey, why, does he, why do you keep swimming by it? Wait, is that quartz right there? Okay. Okay. 
creature egg. That's uh. Ooh, we got copper. We can get a battery now. I need to get out of here, guys. I just realized how low on oxygen I am. 15 seconds. Uh, I got a couple more quartz, but I think I might need a little more to be able to... I didn't look at how many it costs for anything. What's this little thing? See, glide fragment. Don't know. I'd love to take it, but my inventory's full. Oh, my inventory's full. I better get that, guys. I'm not even thinking. So, I was saying in the first episode, I don't know how I'm going to do this series, if it's going to be 100% uncut. Um, if I do something really tedious, like, oh, I have to swim just around here and collect quartz later in the game, once I, you know, assuming I'm like a little OP later for this area. Like, I might cut stuff like that out, but early on, I kind of plan to show everything. I also want to go towards my ship over there and see what those... They look like giant jellyfish from the distance. But anyway, let's see about making more glass. So it takes two quarts to make one glass. And we need the standard O2 tank, which is... I think the reason it's not letting us do it is because it's equipped. And to unequip it, we need to have room for it, which we don't. What about one of those, like, storage things? There was a... Okay. Can I just, like, put this in here is what I want to know. I mean, how do I make Caution. continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing that sounds like it's saying the big ship over there is going to explode. Maybe I shouldn't head towards it. So at this point, if I can like get some stuff out of my inventory, I can make it. So I'm gonna put this. Right here, and I'm just gonna put a bunch of uh, random. Yeah, something. Yeah, that should be good. So, writhing weed and that are in there. I don't know what else to do. I need to... Obviously, I should repair that. That's a radio, I just realized. Uh, what is that? To make a scanner and a repair tool, we need cave sulfur just for the repair tool. Okay, we can go get that. But let's finish one thing at a time first. The whole mission of that, why we had to take that off. So we could do this. High capacity O2 tank. How much do we get now? Oh my goodness, that's a big increase, guys. We can we can go swim for a long time now. I don't really care about the air bladder, but we do need for battery, we need the acid mushrooms. And once we have a battery. We can make the scanner. Okay. So we have a bunch of these acid mushrooms right here. I think we only have one copper. Oh, I had glass in there the whole time. Oh, 
have cave sulfur in there too, guys. I should occasionally look in here, apparently. Um, and I should also turn... I'm going to make lubricant, because I don't have any. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Rebreather, we need a wiring kit. Conserves oxygen when diving deeper. Okay. Yeah, we need the battery now, though. Turn this mushroom and copper into a battery. The battery. Titanium. We get the scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Oh, I used all my titanium, so I need to actually go down, get a little bit of titanium. And I'm going to throw some of these alien eggs in there. Uh, yeah, not not a very big container. I keep forgetting the cl how to close this thing. Anyway, up we go, guys. Spend the whole time in here. Yeah, might I might. Okay, so you can make better batteries. What was I making? A tool. Ah, uh, repair tool. There we go. So I think the radio... Oh, right click. I'm like clicking over and over and I'm like, why is it not doing anything? Okay. So they're not coming. Rescue operations coming in nine 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 hours. So I guess, uh, well, other pods, it says. So maybe there are some other survivors or at least other, I don't know, stuff. Let's repair this. Now we got our little repair gun. It seems like it has a power limit too. So the solar power cell seems to be a little low, but that's okay. So what is... At least our life pod's like better now. But what does that mean for me? I mean, it doesn't seem like it means anything to me. Oh, we got another medical kit. We haven't actually taken any damage, so I'm not even going to. But if it remakes them, maybe I should be, like, storing them. I think I'll store one. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. But anyway, we need some... Looks like we need... I'm just going to drink one of these right now. Let's consume some of these. Ooh, they're decomposing. Oh. Yeah, that was not a good idea on my part. E. So yeah, that whole salt thing I mentioned in the first episode, apparently that's that's a thing. So like how do I get rid of these on my inventory? I don't want this. Maybe I can't do it in here. Let me go. 
Let me go out here. Oh, I can drop them here. So all my food is rotten. Okay, that's, I guess, good to know. We need more water then. Where are my bladder fish? There is a bladder fish right there. And did we get him? No. Now we did. Metal salvage is always good. There's a food. Just swim around and grab stuff. Oh, we have the scanner. And myself. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Aha. Uh -huh. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I'm trying to. I need more than one though, for sure. Where's my bladder fish? Where's my little pod over there? Always a bunch near here somewhere. There's one. He's mine. Don't go away. You're mine. I'm actually... Ooh, it gets dark over there. Oh, it's just getting dark because it's nighttime. That happens really fast on this planet. It's like day, night. That's all right, though. I could find one more. So apparently there's no point in wasting time. I mean, the water, you can get as much of as you want, but the food, you should just kind of leave alone, it looks like. Dang, I can swim a long time underwater now. Anyway, let's go drink what we got. We got two. So, sustenance. So just eat everything I have and fill up is basically what I uh, understood from. How else can we get water? There's filtered water and disinfected water. Uh, so if you take bleach, you can get water. I don't think I'd want to ever drink that. <laughs> that sounds way worse. I'd rather drink alien life juice. Let's drink them. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Oh, really? It indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Oh, swimming was my favorite activity. I didn't actually enjoy it. Just going to go ahead and eat him for that. Oh, two. It might as well turn this into uh, titanium because otherwise it's just gonna uh, kind of sit my inventory. Okay, what's next? We need to go down and we're looking for... We scanned that sea glide fragment, which we found the one right here. I'd like to find the other one. Because sea glide looks cool. What is this? This is the sea glide. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. That was easy. But what does it take to make that thing? Like, I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's uh, complicated. I just want to know, really. Copper wire and a battery. I mean, it's not that complicated. We need copper wire. How do we get copper wire? So copper. We need a lot of copper. I found copper in the cave. So I think we can go looking in some caves with our knife for copper. Maybe. 
Uh, let's go over here. This looks like a little cave. Maybe. Hard to tell in the dark. Ooh, you stay over there, actually. They like the throw up, like, yucky stuff. We're gonna stay away from them. We also needed sulfur for something, so... I think we found it in a rock, so I think it's just like a chance to find it. And obviously that chance, ooh, water. Would be higher if we could find the damn thing, so we need it to be daytime. Part of me wants to go over there. Part of me thinks that is a terrible idea. Yeah, that thing's going to blow up at some point. I don't think I want to be near it when it does, so... Let's just go look around, I guess. What is a grav trap? Nope, can't scan that. Ooh, more water. Lots of water here, guys. I want to get it while I'm here. Whoa. Radio signal? I think I need to get back to my little base over here. Come on, guys. I feel like this is going to be a very long game. A message. Okay. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Uh. So we need a lot of copper still. Does it show me 300 meters this way? I mean, that doesn't seem too far. I mean, 300 meters. Yeah, we're, I mean, we've already went 100. We're going to go over here and see. They were like right in so close to me. And I'm going to be swimming towards the bottom because if there's any... Caves and or rocks. We need sulfur. I probably should have checked my inventory first. I'm okay. I need more water, but... Yeah, lots of that stuff is there. Huh. See if there's something here. Is there some... Vehicle, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Okay, three of those are... Probably shouldn't fill up on metal salvage, because I think it's kind of all over the place. Cut creep vine with a knife. New blueprint acquired. 
New blueprint acquired. A life pod three. Let me go up and then I'll go down. Those poor people went out and were probably immediately killed by those. That is pretty tough. How do I go in? You just stay away from me. So long as that, I mean. It would be so hard to fight something because underwater, oh, there's a hole in the side. Their fabricators ruined. First aid. A compass. Abandoned PDA. Anything useful here? Can I take their store? Oh, their storage container is like destroyed. Never mind. Anyway, which way is my boat? That way. Let's go back to my boat. I don't have things trying to eat me by my boat. What? Yeah, just stay over there with your stuff. Leave me alone. Also, sorry if y'all hear a... Sorry about that. Dog was... Going crazy about something. I think we already. Oh, so if you scan stuff you already have, you get materials for it, though. That's actually pretty handy. Good to know. But dog was going crazy. That's what I was saying. Uh, we really just have to. What the heck is with this? How did I miss it? It's like. Oh, it's not right by me, but... What is it? I mean, there's a lot of stuff down there, but I'm guessing I should not go down there. We'll pick up another creature egg. Maybe we can make scrambled eggs with it later. I don't know. We got plenty of water when we get back. I think to like fill us back up to full. Should still grab them though. Ooh, but I'd rather find some copper. There's at least one. Ooh, copper. I was did not know if it was actually copper. Uh, I'm not really knowing what the use of these creature eggs is, so. I don't know if that was copper or not. Inventory full. Um, what can I throw out? I can throw out... Um, 30 seconds. Um, break this guy. Not for titanium. Eh. Okay, we need to get out of here, guys. Ooh oxygen. We need oxygen, guys. Oh, I just want to swim up, but look down. Wow, that went really deep. Let's head back, see what else we can make now. We got, I think, at least two copper. I don't think it's enough to make everything we need, but it might be enough to make some, uh, something. 
equipment. Compass is copper wire. Okay, so we can know like a direction we're headed. That's kind of useful, but I mean, only if I like had extra materials. So fiber mesh is made out of creep vine. Glass from quartz. Quartz for anything else. Not that I see, so we're just gonna make the glass. Make everything we can. Uh, let's see. So from the salvage, we obviously want to make titanium. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur Ooh. within two hours. So it's going to explode soon. I hope I wasn't supposed to go over there, but... Uh, that creep vine is really big, so we're going to make some fiber mesh. Seek fluid intake. Oh yeah, I should probably do that. Sustenance and water. Let's make a bunch of water real quick, guys. I think we got like three or four of these. Got five of them, apparently. And we'll drink in a second. Why don't we... So for battery, we need one, and for copper wire, we need two. How many do we have? Probably, we only have two. And we're trying to make the sea glide, which we need both. So I think we can go ahead and make copper wire. We need one more copper. And that's really it, and we should be able to make a glad as soon as we get one more copper but we're running on 30 minutes here I think what we'll do is I'm gonna real quickly fill up on water and we are going to call this episode and I will see you guys in the next one where we hopefully get a sea glide because that would speed us up and we can really go far then so yeah have a good one